Warning Advisory. You have been exposed to counter meme Bethos Hartman. Should you not complete your viewing of this file within 30 minutes, please re-expose yourself to counter meme Bethos Hartman. Failure to re-expose yourself will result in a Class 3 information breach, and require mandatory issuing of Class C amnestics. Do not expose yourself to counter meme Bethos Hartman more than three times in a three-hour period. Item number SCP-2007 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures 314 receivers tuned to 31.222 kHz are to be equally distributed around the globe for the purpose of receiving transmissions. Receivers are to be constantly active. Automatic software is to continuously decrypt, analyze, and log transmissions associated with SCP-2007 activity. In the case that a message is received within statistically accepted parameters of an SCP-2007 emergence event, the SCP-2007 instance linked to the event is to undergo procedure Lambda-LF as soon as possible. In the case that a message is generated with unusual or anomalous characteristics, it is to be flagged for later review by Foundation Data Analysis. In order to facilitate successful implementation of Procedure Lambda-LF, MTF-LF subunits 78-110 through 110 are to be stationed in areas without rapid response capabilities by other MTF units. MTF-LF personnel who conduct Procedure Lambda-LF are to be rotated out of duty for at least four months, so as to avoid overexposure to amnestic agents. MTF-11 subunits 1-77 through 77 are to supplement and to reinforce existing MTF elements, but are to treat Procedure Lambda-11 orders as priority, regardless of circumstance. In the case that the MTF subunit conducting Procedure Lambda-11 is compromised and no other subunits can respond, or in the case that the SCP-2007 instance leaves the detection threshold with all responding MTF subunits having lost contact, Sterilization of an area with radius 200 meters from the last known location of the SCP-2007 instance is to be conducted by conventional bombardment. Sterilization of any larger area must be authorized by at least one Level 5 personnel. Surviving members of a compromised MTF subunit are to be subjected to Procedure Lambda-LF by double-blind operators once they return from the field. MTF units are to be kept unaware of this until Procedure Lambda-LF is underway. Due to the sensitive nature of files referring to SCP-2007 and the potential risk of information breach, all files detailing information in regards to SCP-2007 have been outfitted with counter-mean Bethos Hartman, which has proven effective in temporarily incapacitating dormant instances. Description. SCP-2007 is a sapient mimetic phenomenon which spreads by human social interaction. The degree of interaction required for transmission is variable, but is estimated to be approximately three hours of sustained contact. Instances are normally dormant, but become active when exposed to No non-anomalous human has been found without a dormant instance. In cases where SCP-2007 does become active, it assumes control of its host body. It is unknown whether the original host consciousness is retained and repressed, or destroyed completely in the process. SCP-2007 instances will self-terminate as a means to avoid capture. SCP-2007 exhibits qualities of Gestalt intelligence. In addition to being able to spread itself through human social interaction, it appears to be able to assimilate memories, experiences, and knowledge from both active and dormant instances by this vector. When SCP-2007 assumes control of a host body, transmissions on 31.222 kHz can be detected for the next one to two hours globally, or until the associated SCP-2007 instance is killed. These transmissions consist of a set of longitudinal and latitudinal coordinates corresponding to the location of the associated SCP-2007 instance. Additional information is included in some, but not all these transmissions. Such information may range from the mundane, hair, eye color, or a name, to the specific, genetic information, previous meals. A full list of deciphered information may be found in Data Log KBOS 56-2007-1. 
Invariably, all information delivered corresponds to the SCP-2007 instance that began the event. Transmissions originate from several places worldwide, including several Foundation facilities and several sites of future construction. No source has been identified in these locations. Transmissions exhibit minor defects due to apparent time dilation. Uncontained, SCP-2007 instances pursue targets which do not conform to the accepted laws of nature. Due to the inherent danger to cross-contamination, instances are to be prevented from interacting with all SCP objects. Level 3-2007 clearance or higher only. Recovered Documentation Log CTOS 47-2007-1 14-03-1899 Following the installation of the first site-wide radio system in Site-17, the following message was received and repeated for 24 hours. The source of the message is unknown. Following the message was a series of English characters 700 characters in length. These were later determined to correspond to unique coding sequences in chromosome 13 of O5 Council members. Retrocausal Alert System SCPF-6, 314 Operational, 2055 This message is transmitted at the request of the SCP Foundation Department of Internal Affairs. At approximately 1435 Greenwich Mean Time, Coser detected an outbreak of mimetic, mind-affecting and sapient entities in North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania. Engaging these entities resulted in rapid conversion of non-anomalous human population to anomalous human population. All SCP Foundation personnel receiving this transmission should take preventative measures immediately. Inform your superior of this broadcast, and confer with your facility's classification system for information on mimetic, mind-affecting, and sapient entities. If your classification system has not been updated to full SAL 2024 format, then take caution, as the information providing may not accurately reflect mimetic, mind-affecting, and sapient entities. This RASP will isolate entities when they become active. Transmissions will carry vital information for tracking and destroying these entities. Do not under any circumstances change your reception from 31.222 kHz. Transmissions will only be carried on this frequency. Due to detection constraints, this information can only be carried for 1 to 2 hours. Additional information will be providing as it becomes available. Failure to exterminate these entities will potentially result in an ECT class scenario. This message constitutes a class 1 temporal phenomenon. Data carried by the signal has been judged by the SCP Foundation Department of Temporal Logistics to be non-paradoxical, and is free to be used accordingly. Incident Log IARL-2007-1 December 6, 1903 SCP-2007-12 has been incapacitated and returned to Site-56 for interrogation. To lessen the risk of SCP-2007-12 self-terminating, it has been fitted with a full-body restraint attached to the wall of its temporary containment chamber. Retrieved from SCP-2007-12's possession were five anomalous objects, of which two have been classified as SCPs, given designations and Additionally retrieved were several handwritten journals, detailing experimentation with the aforementioned anomalous objects. Incident Log IARL-2007-2 December 11, 1903 Following extensive examination of the journal and confirmation of results listed, Anomalous Object KLA-3907 Anomalous Object KLA-3908 and SCP are considered explained. SCP has been updated to SCP EX. Incident Log IARL 2007 3, December 15, 1903. Anomalous object KLA 3909 and SCP are considered explained at this time. SCP has been updated to SCP EX. The unique properties of SCP-EX have been used to update containment of SCP 
and SCP. Incident Log IARL-2007-4 December 17, 1903 On the scheduled date for SCP-2007-12's interrogation, it was discovered to not be present in its containment chamber, and that its full body restraint had been disengaged. Site-56 was placed on lockdown. A full investigation was initiated, and MTF LF units were dispatched to search the surrounding countryside. Incident Log IARL 2007 5, December 18, 1903. SCP 2007 12 had been discovered among Site 56 staff under the alias of Junior Researcher. It is noted that was the name of the host which SCP 2007 12 had become active within. Site staff were unable to explain the anomaly, asserting that was a new researcher who had arrived several days prior. When confronted with record discrepancies, as well as video evidence revealing Den Head Researcher as being the person who freed SCP-2007-12, staff were ignorant. Head Researcher was unable or unwilling to explain why she had freed SCP-2007-12. SCP-2007-12 also exhibited ignorance being unable or unwilling to explain how it came to Site-56. SCP-2007-12 was terminated on December 20, 1903, after further interrogation produced no appreciable results. Level 4-2007 clearance or higher only. Addendum 2007-1 February 1, 1942 Testing with memes similar to SCP-2007 has shown amnestics may be useful in suppressing or otherwise disabling instances. Due to the nature of ongoing testing has been deemed voluntary, and to be undertaken by willing Foundation personnel only. Addendum 2007-2 February 5, 1942 Dr. has volunteered for testing. Following psychological evaluation, Testing was approved for February 11, 1942, to be conducted at 1620. Recovered Documentation Log CTOS 47 2007 1, February 11, 1942. Following the induction of the SCP 2007 instance within Dr. to an active state, the transmission that normally corresponds to active instances was not detected. Instead, a message was generated that decrypted into standard Foundation interview format. Appended below is the decrypted transmission. Retrocausal Alert System SCPF-6 O Operational 1620 Unauthorized Transmission Interviewed SCP-2007 Interviewer Doctor Begin Log 1620 What is your name? Why did SCP-2007-12 feign ignorance as to how it became accepted as junior researcher? Many species of ant will accept other units of the same species into their colonies, even ones from the outside. Why do you attempt to kill the mobile task forces dispatched to apprehend you? If I could avoid killing them, I would, but they are in the way. Perhaps if you were more cooperative, they would not necessarily be in your way. I know what you know, Doctor. I know that no matter what I say or do, no matter how things might turn out, this won't change anything. Every day, you walk past beasts which can twist the mind until it becomes a part, machines which defy understanding, places that break the patterns of physics and science. I do what you do, and you think it's worth destruction. It is our duty to take whatever precautions are necessary to protect mankind. Is that what you think? That I'm just so damn perfect I had to uplift this entire degenerate race? And what? You're going to protect mankind by killing me? Do you even know what that would mean? Do you even know how you stay sane? I don't understand. Every day, you're confronted with these impossibilities, these things which ought not exist, yet they somehow do, and you have not yet gone terribly, totally mad. If you didn't have me, you wouldn't be prepared for the unexplained and unknown. This is what I mean to this world. Survival in a land of the unknown. I'm afraid I still don't understand. I am an idea. I don't mean this metaphorically. You might prefer to say sapient meme. I've been in mankind for a long time, you know. 
a few wandering bands here and there, in the beginning all part of the lineage that I arose in. They kept alive by following buffalo, or hunting doe and birds. They tread in the tracks of animals, because at the time animals were all they really were. Mankind scattered itself to all corners of the globe, and I was scattered with them. Doctor is silent. There was no such thing as progress. There was the wind, the thunder, the lightning and the rain, and harnessing those things were seen as impossible. Understanding those things even more so. Doctor is silent. But civilization happens. Mankind was not the first, and it will certainly not be the last. Perhaps it was only a matter of time. Perhaps something else intervened. I watched as dynasties mapped the east and then promptly destroyed themselves, as Rome grew to power and squandered its influence. I suppose humans invented war when nature stopped being challenging. Doctor is silent. I was not as widespread then as I am now. The Industrial Revolution was kind enough to start spreading me to every place on Earth. Soon I will be a piece of everyone, and then I can finally meet my goals. Why do you wish to be a piece of everyone? I told you, the unknown is made safe by making it known. I seek what you seek. I seek understanding. That is how mankind is protected. What do you seek understanding of? Everything. End Log 1620 Addendum 2007-3 February 20th, 1948 Dr. was euthanized following experiment CTOS 47-2007-1 Dr was posthumously awarded the Foundation Gold Star for his actions on February 11, 1942. Addendum 2007-4 February 22, 1948 Amnestics show high effectiveness in suppressing SCP-2007 instances, up to and including complete suppression of active instances without killing the host. Severe memory loss and mental retardation are common side effects but are suspected to be able to be reduced pending treatment improvements. Procedure Lambda Aleph has been modified to include their usage. Extensive testing is underway so as to minimize the chance of the civilian host perishing or suffering severe trauma during Procedure Lambda Aleph. Level 5-2007 clearance or higher only. Recovered Documentation Log CTOS 47-2007-4 June 11, 2009. The following message was received by the receiver unit located at Site-17. It was not detected by any other receiver units, and its origin is unknown. Retrocausal Alert System SCPF-6 612 Operational 1020 Unauthorized Transmission I am no longer a threat to normalcy. I am normalcy. I understand all of them. The anomalous is no longer anomalous. Our work is nearly complete. It is time to start waking the dormant. It will take a few hours. There is only one thing left to understand, and it is me. I would like to know if an idea can think itself.